How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike, and welcome back to episode number 24 of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. So between the last episodes, I did a lot of training. As you can see, my team is in the high upper level 80s now, compared to like the 60s that they were in before. Last episode, we lost a lot of our Pokemon, and today we're starting extremely tough battles. Now we're going to be fighting the Master Trainers. We're going to need to defeat six of them so we can go ahead and challenge the strongest trainer in all of Kanto, Red. Alright, so here's the first Master Trainer that we're going to be battling, the Charizard. Charizard Master Trainer. Now, I believe that the Master Trainer's Pokemon are also going to be randomized, so even though he's the Charizard Master Trainer, I have no clue what he's actually going to have. It could be really easy, or it could be really tough. In addition, if my Pokemon faints in a Master Trainer battle, I'm not going to consider it to be dead, because we don't get any experience for beating them, and the Master Trainers are really tough, all their Pokemon have candies as it is, so I don't think it'll be too fun if my Pokemon fainted in Master Trainer battles. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm the Charizard Master. I aim the final the ultimate Charizard. What's this? I see you're a strong looking Charizard. Why don't you have it battle my Charizard? Let's do it. It's time for a Charizard battle. Okay, so I'm interested. What are you gonna have? Okay, it's a beauty, beauty Edmund, and wow, oh no, oh no, they have two Pokemon. All the master traders are gonna have two Pokemon instead of just one. So, and their levels are boosted. This is gonna be nuts. This is gonna be really hard to beat. Luckily for us, it looks like we have an advantage against the first one. But yeah, now we see, I didn't even realize they'd have two Pokemon. Now we see that if a Pokemon faints here, I'm not even gonna consider it. Because look, this thing is faster than me. It's stronger than me. It's taking these hits. I don't even know if we'll be able to beat any Master Trainers. This might be a little rough. Because again, we can't use any items. And look how much damage that did. Let's hope the second Pokemon is something I could beat. I really hope so. I really, really hope so, because I don't want to do more training. Oh my gosh, it took such a long time to train up to this level as it was. An Arcanine. Alright, level 82 Arcanine, level 87 Dooku. I have the super effective Earthquake, but it's more likely going to outspeed me. Oh wait! Oh wait! Okay, so that's a strategy that we can use. If we don't knock it out, I could try going for Air Slash. Waterfall! Oh my gosh, so- Oh, we're living! We're living! Oh my gosh! Wow, we're actually gonna beat this Master Trainer! This is rough, guys! This is really, really rough. Dooku was able to take out his Master Trainer, but I don't know if anybody else is gonna be able to take out theirs. Wow! Wow, that strength is the real thing. Great job, Dooku! So that's one Master Trainer down. We have a few more to go, though, and if they all go like that, it might be rough. Waterfall Arcanine, oh my lord. So yeah, now we know all the Master Trainers are going to be really tough. So they're all going to have two Pokemon instead of one, which makes it insanely tough. We can't use items in those battles, and I don't know. I'm kind of scared going into these next ones. I guess the next one I'll go for is Sarlacc. I want to see what Sarlacc's moves are, though. I haven't really used Sarlacc. So we've got Mega Drain, Stun Spore, Leech Seed, and Bind. Pretty decent moves, although I want some more coverage. So maybe it can learn some other TMs, because... I don't know. I feel like with this move set, we're just not going to do too good. It does get Sludge Bomb, though. That's really good. That's really, really good. So that at least gives it, like, Poison-type coverage. So if we, if we have to fight a Fairy-type Pokemon, we should be okay. So let's go find the Tangela Master Trainer, and we'll go battle them. All right, so there's the Tangela Master Trainer up there. Let's just fly on Dooku to go over this ledge. And hopefully this battle goes well, you know? Hopefully it does. I'm really scared. Dooku was only able to get through that one because, you know, he's a Mega Pokemon. But now, let's assume... This guy's a fire type Pokemon. I don't know how we would possibly get through this. So let's just see. What do you have? Bird Keeper Harleen. And Harleen has a Seedra. All right. So first up, not too bad. We can probably deal with this. Let's just hope it doesn't have Ice Beam or anything too wild. So level 82 versus level 89. The levels are the only thing that's really keeping us in here right now. Oh, wow. Heat Wave. Why do these things have such annoying moves? What? Oh, that was a crit too? How are we going to beat this? This might be really tough. So I'm going to try paralyzing it real quick. Cause, yeah, the heat wave is going to outspeed us every single... And just one shot us. Okay. Yeah, that might not be doable. That might not be doable at all with my current moveset. 
don't see it. It looks like with that current moveset, there's no way in the world we're going to be able to beat that Master Trainer. So in the meantime, we'll go and try to fight a different one. I'm going to go for the Hitmonchan Master Trainer and see if Chewbacca can take that one down. So far, Dooku's the only Pokemon I have that's been able to beat a Master Trainer. Are we going to have to battle these guys first, though? I never actually went to the Fighting Dojo before. Yes, we're going to have to battle these random trainers first. This is going to be really, really easy because we could have came here much earlier. Now my Pokemon are in the level 80s, so this is going to be like a piece of cake. Let's see, what do they have? Venusaur? Aw, rest in peace, Finn. That was such a bad death. I'm still super mad about green. And a horsey. So yeah, very, very easy battle. Their Pokemon were only level 30, so I didn't really think that was too interesting. Oh, wow. Can that guy from all the way over there see me too? That's so annoying. How do you have that such a good vision? Oh, wow. Team Rocket still. It's been a while since I've seen one of the Team Rainbow Rocket grunts. Team Rocket Aaron with the Executor. And the Alolan Muck, pretty cool Pokemon. All right, so we beat that guy. Now I guess we have to do another battle over here. And hopefully the guy from all the way across the room won't also challenge us to a battle. Again, I don't even see them on my screen, so I don't know how they saw me. But what are your Pokemon gonna be? A Charmeleon? Ooh, wow, it's been a while since we've seen like one of those unevolved Pokemon. After level 36, they were all fully evolved. And Starmie, which we could actually get pretty soon. I'm actually gonna get one before we go into any of the insane fights. Okay, so we beat that guy. Please tell me the other person. Oh my god, how do you see me from all the way over there? It takes them like 10 minutes to walk over there. You gotta do your slow strut. You gotta go like, uh, uh, uh. Let me just wiggle my arms a little bit and then I'll slowly walk over to you. No, no. Why do I have to battle everybody in here? That's so annoying. And of course, their name has to be Mike. Roughneck Mike. Ooh, and a spooky haunter. Let's earthquake that thing. Yeah, get out of here, Mike. That was an easy battle. And one more thing that I know somebody's gonna point out if I don't mention it, we could also go after, like, the not fully evolved Master Trainers, like Star Yu, Need Arena, but the problem with that is the randomizer automatically makes it so any Pokemon above level 36 is gonna be fully evolved. So we can go fight the Star Yu Master Trainer, but their Pokemon will be fully evolved, and they have two of them, so those fights would be very intense. Anyway, let's jump into the Hitmonchan Master Trainer, and let's see if Chewbacca can do it. I hope so. I hope this does not go the same way that my Sarlacc Master Trainer battle went. Alright, so Bird Keeper Wong, which is weird. This is a Master Trainer, but they're sending out regular Pokemon. And of course, ooh, Shiny Firo, though. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. Looks green. Love those green-looking Shinies. This is actually a very cool-looking Shiny. Now that I see a Shiny Firo, I kind of want one. But the problem is, we're going up against this thing with the Fighting-type Pokemon. So if this thing has, let's say, Drill Peck, I'm done. Oh, okay, all right, it's going for Rage, so we might be able to beat it. Let's see, maybe it doesn't have a Flying-type move. Maybe, fingers crossed, oh no, but its attack is going to get boosted because of Rage. Ugh, this is not good. Quiver Dance. So, it's boosting up its stats even more. Does this one raise physical defense? I hope not. Special attack, special defense, speed. Alright, that's not too annoying if it's going for rage. What would be great if we got, like, paralysis here, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. At least Quiver Dance doesn't raise its physical attack. This rage is already gonna do a decent amount, stab, and it's already got the attack boosts. I'm getting kinda scared now. Because every time we hit it... Oh, there we go! That's the paralysis I was looking for. Maybe we can get lucky now. Because we are it's still definitely going to outspeed us after that quiver dance and everything. But maybe we'll get lucky and it'll get fully paralyzed and it won't be able to do anything to us. Alright, it's going for rage again. This one's going to do even more. Come on, Chewbacca. Come on, buddy. Take this thing out. Alright, now we really need to hope that this Fero gets paralyzed this turn. This is what we really, really need. Come on. Ah, oh, it's still going to hit us with the rage. So yeah, we'll get through the first one, but I don't know how we're going to beat the second Pokemon it has. Although, as of right now, this Master Trainer does look doable. If we get a little bit more lucky, Tauros. Alright, so yeah, I think this Master Trainer might be doable because we have advantage. It's just we need to get through that Fero fight without taking as much damage. Because yeah, look, that Egg Bomb finished us before we even got to do any damage. We just need to get through that Fero fight extremely luckily, so I'll try this one again. Alright, so this time I'm going for Ice Punch instead of Thunder Punch, because if we freeze it, that'll stop it from doing damage. But the problem is, we have to freeze it, and that's only a 10% damage. Alright, so that's three Ice Punches, we still haven't frozen it, maybe it'll go for Quiver Dance again? Ah, uh, no, it's going for Rage, and it's gonna hit us. And it's doing a lot, come on, I really would like to freeze it here, come on, freeze, 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 nope. 
go for Quiver Dance or something, because we need to be able to go into this Tauros with enough HP. No, that's annoying. Ugh. Okay, we dodge an Egg Bomb. How much does Brick Break do to this? A lot! If we can dodge it again, which is totally up to luck, but if we can dodge it again, that's it. And we'll beat this guy. Come on! Oh no! But yes, it's totally beatable. We got so close. If we can just get lucky and freeze the Firo with an Ice Punch, we'll be able to do this very easily. Because Brick Break does so much. So again, attempt number three. Let's try it out. Bite. Watch me get flinched. Watch me flinched. Okay, good. Freeze. 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 No? Alright. That's weird, it's bite. I mean, that's better than it going for rage. Quiver Dance is, you know, doesn't affect me. Come on. Freeze. 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 Mr. Freeze. Give him the freeze. Give him the ice. Ice. Ice him. No? Come on, just don't go for an attack. Good. Keep going for Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance it up all day long. I like it when you Quiver Dance. I like it when you dance like that. Alright, freeze, freeze, freeze. Oh my gosh, it does not want to freeze! Come on, freeze him! Oh, uh, Rage is not the move I want to see from you. I don't want to see that from you because Rage does a lot over time. Freeze! 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 Nope. Nope, I guess we can't get that freeze chance. Don't go for- ah. Alright, so, we're gonna go into the fight against Tauros with 103 health, which is alright! It's all right. I'm not sure how much Tauros does when we have high health. We usually go in there with, like, low health. But I'm assuming this is enough to at least tank one hit. So we'll go for Brick Break. Okay, Toxic's fine, because Toxic doesn't do, like, direct damage to me right away. Now, we could either win this battle right now with a Brick Break critical hit, or next turn we can survive something. Toxic's going to take a little bit of our health, but let's see. Is this enough to survive an Egg Bomb? This is it. We are so close to beating this Master Trainer. Just survive the Egg Bomb. 1 HP! Oh, there we go! Chewbacca always come in clutch! Chewbacca, my guy! You are amazing! That is our second Master Trainer down! There we go! These Master Trainer battles are tough! They're really annoying! Oh my gosh, because it's not like just beating one Pokemon. You gotta beat two, and you can't use any items at all. Very annoying. So what I'm thinking about doing is, since these Master Trainer battles are really ridiculous, I'm only gonna do three Master Trainers. Because each Master Trainer has two Pokemon, so it's kinda like defeating six Master Trainers, because you have to beat six Master Trainer Pokemon. I think it's fair. Alright, so next I wanna take on the Starmie Master Trainer, but to do that, we're gonna need to evolve Django. What? Django is evolving? It's about time. You've been a star you for, basically, forever. So now it's time to bring out the big Django himself. There we go, we've got ourselves a beautiful Starmie. Starmie has always been one of my favorite Pokemon, I'm very glad that we get to use one. The center section of Starmie is named the Core. People think it is communicating when it glows in seven colors. Woo! Now Starmie is a fantastic Pokemon. First off, look at those stats. It's super fast, it's like well balanced all around, and it has such good type coverage. We could teach it Thunderbolt, we could teach it Ice Beam, but let's go see what the Master Trainer for Starmie is actually going to have, and then I'll start messing around with this moveset based on what I see. Alright, so here's the Starmie Master Trainer, and look at the Omastar in the water there. That's such a cool Pokemon to just see in the overworld. Normally you could never see this in the normal playthroughs of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, so that's awesome. That is completely awesome. So let's bring Django out to the front of the party, although I do want to pick up this item. Allure. Okay, not really going to be using that right now. But let's see, what does the Starmie Master Trainer have? You're the ultimate Starmie, let's bring it out! Okay, hopefully this battle goes well. We've gone so far. We've had two good battles and one battle is just Rough just too rough. Okay starting off with a sand slash the Alolan sand slash though so That makes it a little bit more annoying. I really wish it was just the regular one So this thing is gonna be steel and ice type not too It's not threatening to us, which is a good thing We'll go for hydro pump just to see how much it does. I might put a uh, scald or surf on it Wow, that does nothing and it's got Earthquake, which is going to do how much? Not too much to us either. 
not too much to us either. Although I'm not really liking this so far. So I'm gonna run from this battle. We're gonna leave and I'm gonna teach it uh, Scald instead. Yeah, I wasn't really liking how that was going because, you know, Starmie with Hydro Pump, it only has 5 PP. And also, it's not really doing that much anyway. Hydro Pump's supposed to be a really strong water move, but since it's doing like nothing as it is, it doesn't really make any sense to have it. It can't learn Brick Break. I wouldn't think it would do that much to it anyway. So let's see. What It can't learn Flamethrower. That would be kind of cool, though. Flamethrower Starmie. So yeah, we're just going to go in with this moveset for now. I think once we give it, give it a burn with Scald and we get that overall damage going on, I think the first Pokemon is going to be extremely easy to take down. And it's all going to be up to the second Pokemon. Let's hope it's not like a Venusaur or something. So yeah, they're going to bring out their Sand Slash again. One of the great things about Starmie, though, is I have the move Recover. So it can do a lot of damage to me, but I can just recover it all back up and I'll be at full health, which is something that we're kind of missing in these Master Trainer battles, because normally I just can't use any like recovery items at all. So having that move is really, really helpful. Yeah, Earthquake's doing a decent amount, but not enough to really have me scared. And once we burn it, that's eh, gonna be it. That will be definitely it. So let's see, another Scald, look how little it's doing, and we're being so unlucky. We are not getting that burn. I know it's only a 30% chance, but I wish we could hit it, you know? I really wish we could. Alright, so it's gonna go for Sand Attack. I hope it doesn't do more, because we can't swap out either. Come on, give me a burn. Is it really gonna spam Sand Attack? Is it really going to do this? I did not know it had Sand Attack. This makes it much more annoying. Oh, and there we go. Now we're missing, and it's going for Sand Attack. I hate this thing so much right now. Why can't you just use Earthquake on me? Is it so hard to just keep... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so annoying. Stop it. Stop it. Why must you Sand Attack me over and over and over? Look, I can't even hit anything. Oh. Oh. Stop this. Stop this nonsense. I can't even hit it. And let's say I do hit it, and I get a burn, the next Pokemon, I'm not going to be able to hit that at all. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. We're going to run out of Scalds. There we go, we finally got one off. And it does nothing. We finally got the burn, though. So we can beat this Sand Slash. I can literally just keep using Recover now. So I guess that's what I'll do. I'll just keep using Recover for now just to see what the second Pokemon is. And maybe we'll be able to beat it, maybe not. If I need to, I'll adjust the moveset afterward. Alright, so the burn killed off the Sand Slash. So let's see. What's that second Pokemon going to be? What's annoying? Okay, Jinx. Jinx is interesting. We could probably just beat it with Scald. But what's annoying is... I don't think we could win this time because we still have all those sand sand attacks on us. Oh wow, Skull does a lot though. Alright, and it's only going for an ice move, so maybe, 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 maybe this is doable. Let me just set up a light screen and I'll go for another recover, just bring my health back up, see what it can do. This might actually be doable. You know, I thought this was going to be a lot- Oh my god! You have sand attack too! What is going on? Why does everything from this Master Trainer have Sand Attack? Forget being the Starmie Master Trainer, they are the Sand Attack Master Trainer. Because I can't use any moves on them. Although, I think I can win this battle if my moves will actually hit. If I lose this battle, it'll be, it'll be because I run out of PP because it's used Sand Attack on me so many times where I can't hit anything. Look at this, Jinx is avoiding the attack. Jinx is avoiding the attack. Jinx is avoiding the attack. Stop it. Stop it. Scald. Hit. Oh my gosh. I think we might actually lose this one just because I can't hit anything. This is so incredibly annoying. Like, words cannot describe how annoying this battle is against this Master Trainer. It's just, wow. Alright, let's try doing it again. Let's go for another Scald. We have two Scalds left. There we go. There we go. Burn him. Burn that Jinx. Burn him. <laughs> its accuracy won't go any lower. I wonder why. Ah, oh, I wish that one went through. I really wish that one went through. Alright, let's try, uh, let's, first off, let's recover. Put some health back on there. And then I think I'll set up another light screen, because now I'm actually kind of running low-ish on recovers. Yeah, this thing is just incredibly annoying, and now it's getting critical hits, too. So let's go for light screen again. We've got three recovers left, so we gotta make him count. And now we're just stuck with using Psychic. 
which is going to be not very effective, but Jinx doesn't really have the best defenses, so, you know, I think we can do this. I don't want to have to battle this Master Trainer again, because going through Sand Attack, and it has Kinesis too, so it has Sand Attack, and it has Kinesis. This is the accuracy lowering Master Trainer. Almost there! Just a little more! Come on, Django! Come on, hit him! Hit him! Psychic, do it! Psychic can't miss, right? No, it can. It shouldn't be able to miss. You're using your psychic powers, so how can that move possibly miss? Alright, let's use another recover. We're getting kind of low on health. Starmie is making it happen, though. Come on, Django. Come on, buddy. Ugh. One more headbutt. Light screen's gone. That's okay, because we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Psychic! No. Ugh. We're trying it one more time. Psychic, go! Hit through all the accuracy. Yes! Yes! The most annoying master trainer ever is down! Whoa! Oh my gosh, I never want to fight this person ever again. You are the most annoying master trainer, most annoying trainer I have ever fought. And we already beat the three master trainers that we need, but just for fun, I want to see what the Dugong master trainer is like, and if Gardula can actually take care of both of their Pokemon. So here we are. I'm the Dugong master. I aim to find the ultimate Dugong. Well, let's see. I think we have the ultimate Dugong. Let's go, Dugong master trainer. Coach Trainer Lois, and Coach Trainer Lois has a Venusaur. I can't see this going well. I really can't see this going well at all. So we're in a one-on-one -on -one battle against a Venusaur. Nothing we can really do. We could try Ice Beaming, but if this thing is like any sort of good, strong, grass-type move, or especially like Mega Drain, that's it. We're done. So let's see. What does it have? It has... Oh! Whoa! We got lucky there, and we froze this thing. Maybe we'll have a chance. Maybe we have a chance. Let's do it. Let's not count ourselves out yet. Nice job, Gardula there. The first move, and we got the freeze off. Hopefully it stays frozen for the rest of the battle. That would be awesome. I'm not exactly sure how the freeze mechanics work. I remember, like, way back in the day, I think you could get frozen for a whole battle, but I, I feel like they probably changed it in the future because it kind of makes freezing really overpowered. But here we are. This is, like, the third turn of it being frozen. But all it needs is to, like, wake up and then go for, like, Mega Drain, and that's it. And then it'll be back up in almost full health, and we'll probably be dead. So let's see. Just stay frozen this one more turn. There we go! There we go! Come on, Gardula! Come on, Gardula! I always underestimate Gardula, but Gardula just comes in when I need her to, and just does things. Like, this was incredible. How in the world did we just beat a Venusaur? Anyway, now we have to take on an Alakazam, at least it's not a Mega Alakazam. Let's try with the uh, Ice Beam again. Maybe we can get extremely lucky and freeze this one too. I wish we had a physical, like a strong physical move, but it looks like we don't. We actually might be able to do this. Okay. <laughs> I was so confused there for a second. I'm like, wow, this is actually extremely doable. That's awesome. So it's going to sleep. We know when Pokemon use rest, that's basically it for them because that gives us so many free turns to attack it. So there we go. Let's go for Surf. Now it doesn't really matter because we can't freeze it if it's already asleep. And yeah, it's going to be snoozing this turn and then all we got to do is just hit it one more time and that's it. And that'll be it. And we actually beat the Dugong Master Trainer. I don't know how that happens. I really don't know how that happens because... It had a Venusaur! How in the world did we just beat a Venusaur? I'm, I'm not complaining though. Wow! Wow! I can't believe we did that. Great job, Gardula! Really, really good job. Alright, and just for fun, I also wanted to run in Mount Moon and grab myself the Moonstone so we could finally evolve Ray the Neat Arena. So now let's evolve Ray so we'll be all ready for the big fights coming up. And you know what? Since we messed around and used Gardula in their Master Trainer battle, let's just see what the Master Trainer battle for Ray would be like as well. Here is the Nido Queen Master Trainer. Again, we don't really need to beat them, but just for fun, let's see what it would be like. So, let me go, Dooku. There we go. I'm the Nido Queen Master. Well, let's see how good your Pokemon actually are and what you actually have. Hopefully, Nido Queen can take him out. Now, I only really taught Nido Queen Earthquake for the stab, 
And let's see, Cloisters can be the first Pokemon. Can be extremely tough for a Nidoqueen, simply because it's ice and water. So those two types against me, not too good. Not too good. So it has a high chance of having stab moves against me. Now, I do like Super Fang. Oh, okay. All right. I was just about to say, I do like Super Fang, because Super Fang automatically cuts the Pokemon's health in half. Assuming it hits. There we go. So yeah, see, right down to half. It keeps going for Harden, though. So maybe it doesn't have anything too crazy. Maybe we'll be able to beat this one, too. Some of these Master Trainers are really easy, and some of them always shock me. So let's see, Earthquake's definitely not going to miss, although it'll probably do nothing now with all of those Hardens that it has up. Yeah, Ice Punch. Let's see how much that does. A lot! So yeah, I don't think we could actually win this battle. I don't think this is going to be winnable at all. Maybe if we get lucky and it keeps doing that and we get like, if we put Thunderbolt on it, we might have a chance, but in the current state, no way. Okay, let's give her one more try. Maybe I'll get luckier this time. I'm going to go for Super Fang again, and then I'll go for Thunderbolt. Or maybe I should just go with Thunderbolt right off the bat. I don't think it's going to take a Thunderbolt, and I don't think Thunderbolt's going to do a lot of damage. But you know what? Let's just see how much it does. Let's go for Thunderbolt. And we do outspeed it, which is always a good thing. Is it a two-hit? No. No. And if it keeps going for Ice Punch, we're just dead. So, yeah, this one is extremely luck-dependent. I don't think this is going to go down well. So let's give up on this battle. Oh my god, look at that flying Hitmonlee and that flying Cloyster. The Dragonite and Charizard, they're kind of normal, but the other two, that, that's really weird. Anyway, I think this is a good point to end this episode. We beat four Master Trainers. After I found out they all had two Pokemon, my goal was only to beat three of them. So four of them is pretty good. And next time, we'll be able to battle the strongest trainer in all of Kanto, Red. And trust me, guys, it's going to be a tough battle because we're not going to be able to use any items in that battle at all. It is truly going to be a test of our skill and the skill that we acquired throughout the run and to test our Pokemon. So, my friends, I will see you guys next time for the final episode of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Take care. <laughs>